after an initial revival when Paul Sturrock took charge. Dundee United have managed just one win in nine games. After dismal defeats at Kilmarnock and Motherwell, they return to Tannadise, which has hardly been home sweet home for them. In theory, this place should be an intimidating arena for visiting teams. In practice, Dundee United have the worst home record in the Scottish Premier League. It's they who get us off and running against a revamped Rangers. They have a new look this season and the Dutch coach Dick Advocat. If they win tonight, they'll lose six points clear of second place Kilmarnock and ten points clear of champion Celtic ahead of the New Year Old Firm clash. Over £30 million spent on this new summit. Yeah, colossal amount of spending. I have to say, I think it'll be a big test for United's flat-back four system tonight. We watched Celtic destroy Dundee last weekend with the, the ball over the top. And I think with the pace of Rod Wallace in that Rangers side tonight, United are going to have to be very careful as to how far they push up. Tony Holes, a Dutchman who's been playing football in Belgium recently. Paul Sturrock took over at Dundee United earlier in the season, having spent his entire playing career here. Flipped on by Matty, away by Van Bronckhorst. And there was a late challenge on Albert, which the German certainly felt. George Albert, a cult hero with the Rangers fans. He's scored 13 goals so far this season, seven of them from the penalty spot. He doesn't mess around from the spot, but then he doesn't really mess around with his other goals either. Here's Billy Dodds. Miller to Eric Peterson, who is making only his third appearance of the season. Missed most of it through injury. Teams have already met twice before this season. It was a nil-nil draw here in Paul Sturrock's first match in charge. The Rangers came from behind to beat Dundee United 2-1 at Ibrox. Dodds steps past Van Bronckhorst. Away by Amoruso. The Rangers could go on the break here with Fidmark. Dodds slipping it through to Matley. Suddenly it's rather promising for Dundee United. Easton with the eventual effort. Yeah, United moved the ball well here. Mathy held it up, waiting for the supporting run, and he got it from Craig Easton. Easton always willing to get forward, under pressure to get the shot in, and it flew wide of the target. Duffy's clearance finds Mathy. Pedersen. Just get to this, although Scott Wilson is steaming across. Hasn't gone out yet. We've done the United fans enjoying that moment from the Norwegian Pedersen, Eric the Viking. He's done really well since he came in. I have to say, I'm very surprised that uh, Paul threw him in as early as he did. He's been out for months with a, a hernia and had a couple of under 21 games, and he's been thrown straight in and done rather well. starting lineup this evening, the former Aberdeen man, began the first four games of the season, but this is only his third appearance since that spell. Matthew, is he away from Wilson, not quite, but he has the corner. An encouraging start by United, putting Rangers onto the back foot early on, and Matthew's mobility, already testing Rangers at the back. De Vos knocks it down. Dodds makes some sort of contact, but not enough to force it its way through the Rangers crowd in the six-yard box. What we do see already is Neil McCann has surprised the starter on the left, and United have switched the full-backs immediately to Pascal pick him up. 
Here's Wallace. He's away. Oh, and it was a glorious opportunity for Kivas. And he completely missed it. Ferguson to Van Bronckhorst. Here's the Rangers captain, Lorenzo Amoruso. Played by Pasquale. Perini. Scored against St. Johnston on Boxing Day. And a fine strike it was too. Finds his fellow Italian, Amoruso. Now it's the Australian Vidmar, settles for the throw of Miller. Full-time score in the other match being played today in the Scottish Premier League, and that's a big, big win for Dundee at Tynecastle. Hearts 1, Dundee 2, a result which won't go down particularly well here at Tenadice. Peterson. Maffey. Couldn't quite return it to Pedersen. It will be a Dundee United throw. Morris Malpass making his 594th league appearance for Dundee United tonight. And he'll get the chance to take another throw. Six years of age now, made his debut in 1981. Matthew trying to force it across. Here's Tony Moles, and it diverted into Matthew's path again. Carini's challenge didn't really lead to much, and that's what a bad cross by Matthew. Miller coming in, dealt with though by Vidmar. I think Tostorik will be well encouraged by the start, although they certainly will. On the back foot as Rod Wallace broke earlier on, but apart from that, United are putting themselves well here. Knowles. Oh. Well, Stefan Gibas had a wonderful opportunity here. Well, strikers like the ball delivered early, they like it delivered with pace as well, and what a wonderful cross that is. And Givars really should have been on the end of that. Beautifully measured ball into the front post. Here's Miller. And front post in front of him, and that was a, a very stray one from Miller. Played over 200 times for Aberdeen. The free kick. Let's <laughs> call a winger's tackle. <laughs> Skimmed off the head of Wilson. Making his fifth start of the season. And his first since he got a red card in the old firm derby at Celtic. Malpass with the throw. Duffy nearly made contact. DeVos is going to try a long throw. I don't think he can go back much further. The giant Canadian aims it towards the near post. It's hooked away by Lorenzo Amoruso. Givas looking for his strike partner Wallace, but Pedersen was back. Now Pasquale. to help it on to Miller. Got to him eventually. Trying to feed it back to Matthew. Tony Bidmark. Didn't particularly get Rangers out of trouble then. 
Martins. He gave it straight to Miller. And Fivmar has to recover. Well, that's what United will be looking for. Drew Miller to get up defenders and try and get in behind and get some supply into the box. One-footed Amoruso, but good luck with to get back. It's over Duffy, but he's only gone as far as Moles. Miller's cross, Duffy in there, but away by Wilson. Peterson, there's nobody out that side for the home team. have made quite a promising start though so far as you can see yeah not surprisingly United having the better of the possession they've got a real grip of this midfield area right from the start here's a chance for Givas though blocked by Kuhn and McCann couldn't steer his header goalwards and it will drop behind the Rangers haven't really been in it too much but they were certainly in it then well it's DeVos who's caught with the ball in Givas in on his blind side he had sold himself and Kuhn did well to make the block there. It's a great ball in. Kivas hit the target, but Kuhn did his job. Fortunately enough for Jason DeVos, who was caught out in the first place. Alan Kuhn, signed from St Mirren in the summer, ended Steve Dijkstra's 83-match run of consecutive appearances for Dundee United. He's now played in the last seven. One clean sheet so far for Alan Kuhn. And delighted would he be to keep one tonight against the leaders of the Scottish Premier League. He certainly hasn't been troubled too much. Are a couple of efforts for Givash. Sent out of play by Neil Duffy. The Rangers are up in the tempo and finding their way a bit now. Yeah, they look as if they can change up a gear. And it's that early ball that United have to be aware of tonight. The man they call the hammer. Albert with the long throw. Here's Wilson. Rangers are actually the top scorers on the road in the top flight. With 18 goals so far this season. Away from home. Albert is crossed towards Givash. Away by Duffy. Free kick to Dundee United for a foul by Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. Yeah, a little nudge there by Van Bronckhorst. It's a good contest in there. Craig Easton's pushed on to Van Bronckhorst. Peterson's picked up Barry Ferguson. We've seen the, the Rangers pair dominate so many games this season. United play their way of that. United which is one win at home this season it's against Aberdeen they've only lost twice but six draws have proved rather costly they certainly need to pick up some more points on their own patch the worst home record in the Scottish Premier League I'll bet Vidmar well forward soon going back though Ferguson Amoruso, who scored the winner when these teams last met at Ibrox in October. And Rangers came from behind. Rob Wallace also on target after Billy Dodds to put Dundee United ahead. And Broncos, Rangers muddling their way forward. But DeVos stops them in their tracks. Easton. And Broncos typically not far away. Ferguson, one of the stars of the Scottish season so far, and that nearly put Perini away, but decent header back from the old trooper, Malpass. Malpass now finding Matthew, but uh, comes to nothing for the former Ipswich, a Newcastle man back in Scotland where he began his career with Celtic before moving on to Morton. Carini's throw knocked back by Peterson. 
Maffi. Tackled by Perini. was a foul to Mike McCurry, it was late in giving it, but he made the correct decision. And a chance for United to get the boss up into that back post area. No Duffy, no slouch in the air either. It's whipped in by Miller, and was that a handball by Dodge? I rather believe it was, and certainly Mike McCurry was perfectly positioned. That well, was the wrong target because the boss and Duffy had gone to the back post. Both of them capable of winning it, he's playing in shocker to Billy Dodge. Never really favourite to win that one. Six goals since his move from Aberdeen, three for Aberdeen as well, and of course, three for his country in the European Championship qualifiers earlier in the season. De Vos's header, and Miller's flip, and here's Amoruso to lead a Rangers charge now, couldn't quite take the ball with him. Maffi steps away from Perini and Van Bronckhorst with that turn, and then Dodds runs into Albert. And now here's Guy Barsh. Looks like Guy Barsh will get there first, though. And that's very composed, the Canadian. Dodds. Offside against Matty. As Easton lobbed it over the top. Well, again, it was tight. Scott Wilson, the last defender for Rangers there. Tries to make a, a flat run there. Not a great deal in it, maybe half a yard. It's a good run, though, nevertheless, by, by Alec Monkey. And Mauricio's free kick is going to bounce straight through to Alan Cook. This time last year, Rangers were four points clear of Celtic going into the new year. Celtic, of course, caught up, overtook, and became the champions. Certainly, Rangers and their fans would enjoy a ten point gap, much, much more, which is what it will be. If they win here, Neil McCann, twisting and turning. Pasquale came to Dundee United's rescue then. Foul on Amoruso. Yeah, Billy Dodds, clumsy in the challenge. You do get the impression Rangers are starting to warm to this. to swing this free kick in then. And it's going to come through to Gibas. Blocked by Duffy. Corner. Yeah, good ball played in from the left from George Alberts. And Neil Duffy did the right thing there as Gibas measured the, the shot of the cross, stayed on his feet and made a good block. Corner kick. He's going to come straight back out towards Van Bronckhorst. He will now leave the throw. How about obviously going for a long one? is on the near post. Going to come back to Alberts here. He whips in a nice cross and Van Bronckhorst is in there, but and Alberts made a mess of it. It's a dangerous ball, they have plenty of time to throw it in. Van Bronckhorst with the forward run. Comes it a, a dangerous one to defend, the ball whipped into the near post there. Dundee United with only one win in their last seven encounters in the league with Rangers. That was here last season. 2-1 success. Perini picked out by Ferguson. Sends the cross in, flipped on by Wallace, and Pasquale has to hook it behind with McCann waiting. Well, it's a good move. Perini skins Alec Matthew here. Good ball played in, and Pasquale does well. He doesn't know who's behind him, and there's no option but to play it behind. Good ball by Perini. Pasquale doesn't see it until late, but does well under pressure. 
it's the Dutchman Van Bronckhorst with the corner. Wilson's header, but there's a bit of shoving going on. Which Mike McCurry spotted. Well, we see it all the time at corners, don't we? And normally we see the defending team getting the benefit of the doubt. so far there's actually been a bit of a shortage of goals in the top flight in Scotland this season 39 fewer than at this stage last season you can see the defenders are doing their job at the moment it's Perini with the throw in for AC Milan and Juventus in Italy. They don't come much bigger. Here's Wallace. Ibarsh in the can in the middle. Wallace straight into the arms of Koo at the near post. Towering kick by Koo. Betts. Amoruso. Side of his area. Good clearance though, straight to Miller as well. Malpass. Edison losing out. Rini with the throw. under pressure from Matthew here and Matthew is in but it was blocked by Wilson Ferguson that is ankles tapped by Eric Peterson but the ball was moving I think as he took the free kick yeah, I think Rangers unlock it to be pulled back there was a good early ball from Barry Ferguson and I know it, uh, it is in the rules that the referee has to bring it back but there's no real advantage for Rangers there midway through the first half then here's Neil McCann replacing the injured Andre Kanchelskis tonight McCann trying to find a way past Pasquale it's going to come to Alberts De Vos though poke it out to Dodds Good mark, getting the better of Miller. And as you can see from the possession, Rangers have certainly come back into it in a big way. Stefan Cross trying to be a bit better than. Yeah, they're starting to get a grip of the game now. The make is starting to be hemmed in. And defending deeper as well, which makes the game longer for the midfield players. Starting to give the likes of Barry Ferguson and Van Bronckhorst a bit more space in midfield. Alberts, Wallace, onto McCann. Cross has gone out with him. McCann's going to get his cross in though. Away by Duffy. And he's such an exciting player, Neil McCann, as the fans of Hearts will certainly testify. Scott Wilson. George Alberts. Here's Mappy. Constructed by Wilson. I don't know why Scott Wilson is protesting. He doesn't take any of the ball there. And it's a painful one for Alec Marthy. Be very surprised if we don't see a yellow card here. And the Rangers players furious with the challenge. Also shown one to Pedersen, I think, presumably for having a little bit too much to say about it all. So a double yellow. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, we saw Scott Wilson sent off in the old firm game. And he certainly can't afford to be as rash as that. Confirmation of a yellow card also then for the Norwegian Pedersen. Mafi, meanwhile, is back on his feet and Dundee United have a useful free kick here. Which will be swung in by the right foot of Joe Miller. And he felt like he was going to have a blast at goal then and maybe that was his intention, I'm not too sure. I don't know what it was to be honest with you, I don't know whether it was a... <laughs> A driven cross to the back post or a shot. It was neither in the end. There was definitely something in between from Joe Miller. <laughs> Stefan Kloss won the Champions Cup with Borussia Dortmund, along with Celtic's Paul Lambert, who was in the team that night. And they beat the Juventus side, which included Sergio Perini, his now teammate at Rangers. Improved by the Rangers fans on his part in that earlier incident. Morris Marpes has only missed one game this season, the recent defeat at Kilmarnock. He's closing in, in fact, on David Neri's record of 612 league appearances for Dundee United. Cross's clearance. Came off Easton's head, away by Duffy. Easton should have found Oh, a mistake by Malpass, gives it straight to Rob Wallace, and you really don't want to do that. Wallace steams past him, but then makes a bit of a mess of his cross. Well, he should have done better there, because Rangers had plenty of support pouring in at that back post. Uncharacteristic error here by Malpass, and Wallace is a defender's worst enemy with so much pace, quick feet. Makes the space for the cross, and they're lining up at the back, and they can't deliver it properly. 16 goals for the number 16 so far this season. Squall's throw. Miller on the chase, but Amoruso neatly turns away from him. Doesn't clear it quite so neatly, mind you. Amoruso made captain of Rangers by Dick Advocat. Skimmed off Amoruso's head then, but it's cleared by another Italian, Perini. Duffy's header. Maruso's header. Mark Pass will be first to this. Matthew and Wilson. The tangle again. Another free kick. Well, Matthew again going in with it. It hops at Sergio Perini who catches him. take this throw and Matthew was backing in and he'll be penalised this time well he's had a lean time recently Alec Matthew but he's got a great attitude he'll always show for his midfield player trying to use his body here to hold Perini off flag is up season was Rangers first trophyless campaign in 12 years and they took it rather personally new coach Dick Africa has spent over 30 million pounds on building a new side the best is yet to come from this side but they're not doing too bad at the moment top of the table
Spoils free kick. Away by Van Bronckhorst. Desperately miscontrolled by Ivas. Peterson. Didmark. Here's Rod Wallace. Now Van Bronckhorst. And good tracking back by Miller, who was then fouled by the Dutchman. Jason DeVos signed from Darlington earlier in the season. And he's Canadian. Helped on by Maffey. Away by Vidmar. Here's Neil McCann. Running into a crowd. Easton took it off his toes. Here's Miller. His cross is aimed towards Matthew. And that hit the hand of someone, did it? It's Matthew who's been penalised anyway. Yeah, Matthew penalised for pushing. Certainly no intent here. If it did hit Perini in the, up the hand, it does, but he doesn't know anything about it. And it's all down to the intent. Well, there's plenty more action to come from Scotland. On New Year's Day at 2 o'clock, it's Motherwell who have improved greatly against high-flying Kilmarnock and Sky Sports 1. And then it's the biggie on Sunday at 5.30, the third Old Firm clash of the season. It's Rangers, it's Celtic, say no more. Easton. Miller did well to just about keep that in, although McCann almost benefited from the... Not a poor pass, <laughs> and that'll be a corner. That's a double ricochet, isn't it? Certainly hit the square last. Van Bronckhorst then, the aim for the likes of Amoruso here, it's too high for him. And for Vidmar, but it comes down for Wallace. Who switches it back in, off! It's taken a deflection as Wilson got his header in. And he will claim that one, you can be sure. But it seemed to be diverted past Alan Koo. But Rangers have the lead at Tannadice. Well, United thought they'd managed to get it half cleared anyway. It's a good ball in by Wallace. He's not trying to pick anybody up. But Scott Wilson is coming on to it and knew exactly what he wanted to do. Glancing header, takes a deflection. And Alan Kuhn left with absolutely no chance. Good ball in here. And it comes off the boss last of all, I think. Last touch to him, but Scott Wilson will surely, well, he'll certainly claim the goal and will surely be credited with it as well. Surely a foul by Amarisa. Miller's really up for it. Yeah, one of the, the rare opportunities Joe Miller's had in this match to, to run at defenders. They really haven't managed to get the ball into his feet early enough for me. So, the United find themselves a goal down. It was neatly whipped in and Bidmar had to knock it away. Stefan Kibas gets a little bit of treatment. And also need time to stick his boot back on. That's right up the other end. Back down this end. And the United's corner. Got it down by DeVos. And it was away by Vidmar, who got a oh, kick in his trouble. Yeah, a lot of feet flying there. Tony Vidmar takes one in the arm. In the stomach. So treatment needed for the Australian. The Rangers are going to have to make a change because as Pitmar gets treatment, Stefan Givas is going to have to go off. Well, let's have another look at Scott Wilson's goal for Rangers. Well, a bit of good fortune because it takes a deflection, but Wilson does well to attack the ball as it comes back in from Wallace. 
lovely little ball. And in comes Wilson. De Vos doesn't know much about it. And the deflection enough to beat Alan Kuhn. And he's definitely playing his first Rangers goal there, Scott Wilson. So, Gabriel Amato has come on to replace Stefan Givas. A rare chance for Amato, who has been a bit of a flop, really, since joining from Mallorca of Spain for £4.2 million. Pounds. The Capacat made so many new signings, there were bound to be some hits and some misses. And he gets a rare outing here, only his fourth in the last 20 games. Albert, blocked by De Vos. Neatly flicked on by Miller to Pasquale. His dot at the near post. Oh, and he just couldn't quite get his shot in because it was blocked by the Rangers goal scorer Wilson. Well, good stuff by United, getting the, the ball forward quickly for a change. Dodd spins Wilson. The big man manages to, to get the, the challenge in. Just over to Goss's head. It will be dug out by Rangers. So Gabriel Amato has replaced Stefan Givas. because he's continually having a go at Mike McCurry and there's only so much they'll let you away with Paul Sturrock with plenty to say Amoruso away by Easton Amoruso won the header It's the home side of free kick. Here's Miller then. Dodds. Moles. Trying to have a dig from there. Can. We'll come into Easton's path here. Miller's cross, Dodds is header, comfortable for Cross. Yeah, the ball played in from Joe Miller, it's not a great angle. Dodds certainly not in a position to get any power on that day. Good attempts on goal so far for Dodds. Stefan Gibas has turned an ankle. The reason for him going off to be replaced by Amato. A lot of goals from the Yorker last year. 18, in fact, as they reached the Spanish Cup final and also finished in sixth place in the league. Here's Miller, really fired up. Support from Pasquale, met by Amaruso. Cross, but it's a bit of disappointing we can have for Dundee United, who, if you go back to the end of last season as well, have uh, only managed one win in their last 15 league games here at Tannadice, which is a dreadful home record. Yeah, and Paul Sturridge well aware of that uh, as well. And as I said at uh, the live match a couple of weeks ago, we're going to see a big clear out here at Tannadice. I think he's well aware of this current squad simply isn't good enough. Yeah, no one doubts that he'll turn it around but it will take him a bit of time he probably knew that anyway so he knows it now here's Maffey put up by Wilson Perini straight to Malpass Ferguson Fifth mile for Rangers playing the 34th match of the season today 11 more than Dundee United have played. Maffey. Miller. Showing some silky skills, but couldn't get the shot in. Another free kick, though. Yeah, 
great footwork here. Little drawback. Van Bronckhorst left for dead. Barry Ferguson comes in late. And a chance here for United to put a bit of pressure on. Put Stefan Kloss under some kind of pressure. Another standing over the free kick. But there's He's not happy that the wall is back, and he might have a case to be honest. Mark McCurry is happy with it though. It's Joe Miller, he got it straight at the wall. Had no height on it at all. Miller still chipping away. Pedersen and Perini together. Now Mathy. And he'll get the throw off Wallace. Very scrappy at the moment. Nobody we're getting any time on the ball. Good <laughs> across. Rather oh, painlessly in the end by Matthew. Alberts up to Amato. Newton Tinian. And the Australian Vidmar. Pasquale well steps in. Pasquale. Tony Moles and Marto won it back well. Now McCann trying to smuggle it through to Wallace, might yet do so. Still McCann, two men on him, Moles and DeVos. And he's shaken off both of them and he still goes McCann. And in the end it was booted clear by DeVos. player who can really excite the fans, Neil McCann. Didn't exactly, as the flag goes up there, didn't exactly excite the home fans then. He certainly did the Rangers. Yeah, he appeared to have nowhere to go here, but... Little check inside, and he's away. Three dots now. That's by Wilson. United have to make more of these set pieces. They have Neil Duffy and Duvorce. Two of the best in the business when it comes to winning the ball in the air in this Premier League. They have to make more of these. Well, it was flipped away at the near post. Oh, and surely now it's dead side to the equaliser for Dundee United. Rangers seem to stand still. And Billy Dodds was quickest to react. And it's 1 1. Well, the control is superb here as the ball comes back in. Rangers pushing out. Look at the first touch. And all he has to do is side foot it into the, the top of the net. But it's the first touch that buys the time here. And that's a cool finish. Rangers pushing out as the ball's cleared. And what a cool finish that is. Game on. Well, it's only Billy Dodds' second goal in the last seven games he needed that one and Dundee United certainly did just before half time Dodd scoring against Rangers for the second time this season for Dundee United Miller's lob cleared by Amoruso here's Matthew now Dodds Plenty of Rangers bodies back. Dodds and Maffey conspiring between them. And Rangers on the rack a little bit as we edge towards the end of the first half. Yeah, he's a bit happier now. He's, he's entitled to be as well. A lot more urgency about United. Wilson's header. Comes to Dodds though. And the pass. One back by Alberts, trying to release Wallace. DeVos has set up Matthew here, but away by Amoruso. Here's Miller. Pasquale's cross. Not, I was going to say not very cleverly away by Perini, but it turned out to be okay in the end. Perhaps that's what he meant all along. Tussle between Amato and DeVos. A pair of giants. 
Wilson and Blomkost. Al Betts. He will find. He won't find the camp. Headed by Pasquale. Easton's cross that time. Nets by Amoruso. Vidmar. We're in the first half. Injury time. Billy Todd's equalising for Rangers. Well, as it's cleared, look at the Rangers players running out. Trying to play offside here. They don't get out quickly enough, and it's a great first touch from Dodds. Ten this season for Billy Dodds, seven of them for Dundee United. He scored a hat trick for Aberdeen in the League Cup at the start of the season at Inverness Cali Pissel. Also scored a hat trick for Dundee United at St Johnston. from Dodds has certainly set it up rather nicely for the second half the scoreline all square which is something that they're pretty used to here at Tannadice this season six of their nine games have ended in draws the half-time whistle goes and plenty of effort put in by both sides Scott Wilson claiming his first Rangers goal although it did deflect in off Jason DeVos the giant Canadian but just before half time Billy Dodds twisted and turned and fired in an equaliser Rangers recovered from a poor start Wilson's header cannoning off DeVos but Dundee United have plugged away tonight Dodds onside slipping it neatly past Stefan Kloss. So at half time at Tenerife in the Scottish Premier League, it's Dundee United 1, Rangers 1. Robin and Ian Crocker. Cheers, Jim, and it will be Rangers who will start the second half. Victories in the Scottish Premier League, a usual experience for them, of course. But it's been a pretty miserable 1998 for Dundee United. This is their 40th league game of the calendar year and they've only won six of them so I think they'll be glad to see the back in 98. Yeah but I think Paul Sturrock will be pretty happy with the way things have gone tonight. They've pushed up, they've squeezed the game. Barry Ferguson and Van Bronckhorst have had very little room to, to run the show in that midfield area. And I think Paul will just be asking his lads for more of the same in his second half. Rangers top of the table. The title is their target this season. Second place simply won't be good enough. So the second half starts with Rangers. Who made a quiet beginning to the first half before taking the lead. They were forced to make a change, of course, with Stefan Givash injuring his ankle. Gabriel Amato on in his place. Here's their goal scorer, Scott Wilson. Perini, who scored against St. Johnson on Boxing Day. Defenders weighing in with some goals. Just to give you the, the, an idea of the difference between the two teams this season, though. That was the first half Dundee United's 21st goal of the season. It was Rangers' 68th in all the competition. Australian fit mark. That's going to fit behind for a goal kick. I think Pasquale has done a, a right good job tonight on Neil McCann on that left hand side. Paul Sturrock said to me before the match he was one of the, the best in the business when up against a, an out and out winger. And but for a couple of occasions he's managed to keep Neil McCann very quiet tonight. Boom's clearance, met by Amoruso, straight up in the air though. Easton got a little nudge on it. And Miller, inadvertently I think, helped it through to Dodds. Miller was stopped in his tracks by McCann. 
£1.6 million pound buy from Hearts. Here's Albert. Ron Wallace making a run. But you'd expect Duffy to have this under control. Albert. Fidmar. Amoruso. Scott Wilson scoring his first Rangers goal tonight, but only in the side because Colin Hendry is suspended. It's a lovely touch by Wallace. Marini's really cross, helped on by Amato, but it's just going to go too far ahead of um, Bronckhorst. Rangers need more of that, they need more mobility from midfield. Amato had the right idea, they head in behind for the runner. <laughs> Rangers, of course, have already lifted the Scottish League Cup this season. And they don't intend to stop there, as far as silverware goes. Snapped out by Amorusa. And has his critics amongst some of the Rangers fans. Taking a fair bit of stick from them in his time. Wilson. McCann. Slips it through to Albert. Rangers on the break, and Ferguson is making a good run. From the United have got bodies back. Torini going around the outside. Ferguson goes to the inside, and Albert, who lines up one of his specials. Not that special that time. No, Kuhn didn't have to react at all. He measures, bang. Not one of his better ones, though. But he's always looking to have a dead gun with this kind of power. He's always likely to, to come up with a goal from there. He sent off there on the last day of last season. Albert. Marco header from Wilson. Malpass helps it on. Peterson looking to put Matthew away, but straight at Perini. Now Barry Ferguson. And Marto. Nice idea. Here's Big Mark. Too nice across though. The man from down under sent it up over. Well, the movement was good enough, but uh, the final ball let him down. United have only scored seven league goals at home this season. Dodds. Harry Ferguson turned and ran into Easton, but Rangers still have it with Perini now. Scores first league goal of the season against St. Johnson Perini against Big Car Jerusalem in the UEFA Cup. McCann on the chase, but here's DeVos. No nonsense defender. Albert is going to get ready for a long throw here, which is being positively encouraged by the Rangers fans. A bit of a strange one in the end. Maybe that better luck this time. Might not be quite so long this time. There are other options available. One of which is a martyr. Back to Albert. McCann. Once again, Pasquale gets the better of him. Did Mark got a little foot in then. So did Easton though. And a trip back by Wilson on Murphy. Pedersen's free kick finds Joe Miller. And he's got past a bit more here. Can he deliver a decent cross? He most certainly can. And it was steered away by Van Bronckels. Miller to Dodds.
Miller stepping inside Vidmar. And Mauricio bangs it clear, but straight at Pasquale. Dundee United will intend to apply a bit more pressure. Well, they've got to get the ball to this man more often. Showing here what he's capable of. He's under pressure, and yeah, that's a good delivery into the box. We've got to try and get Miller one-on-one -on -one with Vidmar uh, as often as possible in the second half. Pasquale doing an old bets with a long throw. Right by Van Bronckhorst, Cannon's off Duffy. Amato has shown some nice touches here and there. Here's Wallace. And in it goes. Oh! And it went. Straight across McCann. Well, the applause is for the ball in here from Wallace. The same as he did in the first half. Superb cross to the front post. McCann can't get anything on it. In between the goalkeeper and the last defender, you can't ask for any more than that. And McCann just couldn't get anything on it. Organising for Neil McCann. Four goals for Hearts this season. Marta, proving to be a nuisance. Here's Albets. Easton, miscontrolled by Mappy, who then ensured that Van Bronckhorst wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, it's certainly obstruction here. Harry Ferguson's free kick. Wallace has moved out to hug the touchline. And that was a, another cross whipped in rather ferociously. Finds McCann. Now Ferguson. Here's Perini. He gets his cross in towards Amato and Devos just knocked it away. Did he use his hand there? That's the pressure is that he did. Going to the back post. So I can't tell from that angle. And Broncos with the Rangers corner. And Mauricio move forward, but his header dropping over. De Vos's arms were certainly up. But the shouts came more from the fans, it must be said, than the players around. Yeah, it's his head, actually. It's his head. Good show from Mike McCurry. Ten minutes into the second half. One apiece. Stefan Cross getting ready to clear. <laughs> Stefan Cross, incidentally, will be away with the German national side in early February in America, playing against the USA and Colombia, although he's only third choice at international level. The so Rangers might try and get him out of that trip, I guess. He'll miss the match at Dunfermline, certainly, if they can't get him released. He's also going to Florida, of course, in Rangers in January, so he's got a few nice trips uh, coming up. In fact, both these teams are heading to Florida in the Scottish season as it's winter break. Strange that they don't want to stay, stick around for the Scottish <laughs> weather. Ferguson's header, mal pass by Pedersen, but here's Wilson and Broncos. Craig Easton it's chipping away at the Dutchman, and now Pedersen. And there are possibilities here. Matthews cross, away by Amarusa. Free kick Rangers. 
Yeah, I'll be frustrated there, and that's been the story of the night. United have pressed the game well, they haven't given Rangers any time at all. And Mauricio. Wallace trying to tee up a Marto, but superb sliding challenge from Duffy. Edison up towards Matthew. Shows too much of it to Scott Wilson. I think United will feel more optimistic about their chances. I don't think they, before the match, they, they fancied their chances, but they've come back well. They're holding their own. And they must feel they can win this game. Equalised for Dundee United after Scott Wilson and put Rangers ahead. Joe Miller's trudging across to take this free kick. Yeah, Jason DeVos, I've no doubt, is going to try and pick out here. And it goes from Miller, but that's going to be pretty comfortable for a cross. And Marto's header, and Squall had it covered. Here he is again. Signing a free transfer from the hard in the summer. And he's certainly involved in this Dundee United move, very much so. And it had to be taken away by Bidmar, but the goal kick's been given. Yeah, good play by Pasquale, nevertheless, though, showing he's more than just a man marker getting forward. Took that Mauricio out of the game and just squeezed out eventually. It may be a measure of the way that the United Conference is growing here. Stefan Klaus had only conceded 18 goals in 18 matches in the Bundesliga this season for putting Dortmund the Rangers Pasquale, I don't think we've seen him have a bad game yet for Dundee United McCann DeVos and Bronckhorst did enough Bidmark found Albert Amato, oh, it's going to come through to Barry Ferguson. Back to Van Bronckhorst. And United had enough bodies in the way to halt Rangers' progress. McCann. Albert. Whistled by Dodds, who'd come back. Given away then by Pasquale, just as we've been praising him. Here's Dodds. comes off Van Bronckhorst. Yeah, he did well, he had nowhere to go there. The only thing he could do was win the throw in. Blowing a bit there, Billy. Maybe he's getting on a bit. <laughs> Craig Easton, just 19 years of age. He's had a good tussle in that midfield tonight. Yeah, I think United have, have done ever so well in that area. That was always going to be, be crucial. We've seen Barry Ferguson dictate many a game this season. With Van Bromos beside him, but United... Peterson has done a great job on Barry Ferguson tonight. Dodds to Miller. Did Mar, though. Wins it back for Rangers and sets up McCann. And he's away now with Wallace and Amato in support. Here's Amato, trying to slip it through to McCann, and dug out by Malpass, Malpass rather, who was then fouled by Amato. Good play by Malpass because Wallace had made the run across him, but he stayed in, held his position and managed to get it away. Typical Wallace Malpass, you won't find many who read the game as well as this lad. 
part of Dundee United's championship winning side of 1983. United without a win in four games lost their last two on the road at Kilmarnock and Motherwell after holding Celtic here McCann Pasquale there again though DeVos with a rather hopeful pump it's going to be a throw in to the league leaders Rangers beaten only three times this season in the Scottish Premier League, all the way from home, in Hearts on the opening weekend at Motherwell and at Celtic. That one's going to drop harmlessly through to Coombe. It's been a frustrating night for Rod Wallace. He's, he's done well breaking wide, he's put in a couple of great balls to the front post. And he's made some good runs without getting the reward. They just wonder if there's still a payoff in this game for Rod Wallace. Been very impressed by the way he's moved along that front line. United with this man around will always be vulnerable to the ball over the top. Just one behind Henrik Larsson in the goal scoring charts, Rob Wallace. 16 for him, 17 for Larsson. Yeah. Yeah. Cross won two titles in Germany with Dortmund. And of course that is a matter of the Champions Cup as well. A highly rated keeper. Dodds, nice turn, away from Amoruso, Rangers stretched here, it's Muffy, oh and he just couldn't find a way past Wilson, credit to the defender. Well that's good defending, Matthew was hoping he would dive in and he jockeys him, waits for the exact moment to put the challenge in and did it perfectly. Wilson making the most of a rare chance tonight. Knowles. Good evening. Who might have been there as he sent that in? There wasn't anybody there. Duffy has to slap it into the stands. Rangers edging it in the second half. Yeah, but anybody's game in, this one could go either way. One we one we the better of the opening 45 minutes. And Marta, the replacement for the injured Givas, is penalised for a foul on Duffy. So I can't quite believe. Here's Matthew, though. Wilson's over there as well. Matthew gets his cross in away by Amoriso and it was Easton shot who it was blocked by Perini it is a close one to call this well whenever we've seen Barry Ferguson tonight we haven't had to wait to see Peterson he's been right beside him all evening Wilson it's drifting away from Amato although he does get there and he sets up Wallace as well excellent work from Amato and Wallace's cross is not bad McCann not the tallest and was away by Pasquale and his big mark Pasquale keeping a first check on McCann once more Maffey Easton. That's a lovely pass as well from Craig Easton to Joe Miller. He's got past Vidmar here. It opens up now for Dundee United. Oh, and it's Wilson who sent it into the side netting. Wasn't the greatest of fullbacks. Well, he's one on one, and that's exactly what he wants tonight. He skins Tony Vidmar here. It's a nutmeg, and he's away. Doesn't look up, I don't think. He had dodge if he pulled it back. And it will be Miller to take the corner. And Amato has to steer DeVos's header behind. 
Rangers on the back foot now, United enjoying a good spell. And once again, it's a, a chance to put Rangers under pressure through DeVos and Neil Duffy at this back post. Matthew's corner. DeVos is in there trying to influence it heavily for Dundee United. Here he is again, DeVos, and that was a real killer driller from Jason DeVos. Well, that would have capped out a fine performance by the Canadian. Just knocked out. It breaks kindly for him here. He only had one thing in his mind, get plenty on the shot. Oh, he strikes it well. Not far away. Sweet strike from DeVos. From the United's eighth attempt on goal. And they're ahead on that. And so square, as far as on target goes, the foul on Wallace. He's now given Rangers a chance to bite back at the other end. Well, it's the arm of Malpass, isn't it? Could it be Mr. Albert by any chance? Or was it not in the, quite the right place for him? Well, any place is right I for him, was, I suppose. He would shoot from the halfway line if you, if you let him. Probably score as well. There's four men in the Dundee United wall. Know what's coming up here. Yeah. Would suspect, in fact, it's not going to be Albert. It's Van Bronckhorst deflected. And it skids its way through to Koo. And decent shot takes a deflection. It's really lining up as both teams go in search of a winner here. And Pedersen just showed Perini too much of it and then held him back. Well, he's been yellow carded, he has to be careful here. It's a late challenge, it looks like a deliberate trip on Torini. Mike McCurry would have noted the offence, having already booked Pedersen in the first half. Too much lip. Matthew just lost it somewhat, although still nearly found Easton. Amato fouled by Easton. Yeah, he was never getting any of the ball. Lucky, I think he wasn't showing a yellow there. Rangers are thinking of making a change. Charlie Miller to come on soon. Here's Amoruso. Disappointing though from the Italian. Although Alan Coombe wouldn't have found it too disappointing, he found it rather easy. Matthews header. Waved by Amoruso. Marto on the chase, but you kind of expect DeVos to deal with it. Yeah, he hasn't lost a challenge all night. Duffy's made a steady return as well from injury. How about that for a flip from Dodds? He's put Peterson away. Difficult to say which way this game might swing. Pasquale. So he's going to steer that one behind. I think he was looking for a free kick, I think, but... Yeah, the pass could have been better. It could have been played into his feet. Just asking a bit too much about it, Matthew. He's got his second favourite here. So Rangers are going to make a change. And Gord Albert is the man being replaced by Charlie Miller, who makes only his 12th appearance of the season. Serial substitute for Rangers. Player with immense talent, although he's lost his way a little bit over the last couple of seasons. Bitmar. 
taken up by Malpass, but here's Amato. Came on as a sub in the first half for the injured Gibas. And Bronkhorst. Ferguson not seriously troubling Coombe and that's a pretty decent kick out to Matley shrugs off Ferguson picks out Miller which is a good idea at the moment for Dundee United but it would have been if they could have controlled it Fitmar Amoruso making himself available quickly closed down by Dodds hence the rather hurried and rather wild clearance which Perini couldn't keep in. Well, that all came from the way United closed Tony Vidmar down on this side. And it's a hard shift closing people down when you don't have the ball, but it's worth it when you can win it back like that. Here's Miller, who's a rebel in being given a rare start tonight. Away by Van Bronckhorst. Well, Matty trying to turn. Instead, sets it up for Miller. And drops his head up straight into Cross's arms. Well, Joe Miller knows exactly where Billy Dodds wants it here. He's on his way to the front post. A good delivery, a good run from Dodds. He just doesn't get the angle on the header to beat Cross. A well look move. Here's Fitmar. Van Bronckhorz has a go. Coombe saw it coming all the way. Wallace and Malpass together. Rob Wallace spent seven years with Leeds and was at Southampton before that. Here's Charlie Miller. Gets the cross in, but it's away by DeVos, unsurprisingly. Ferguson now trying to shove it into the path of Van Bronckhorst. Here's Amoruso. And that's going to be free kick for the side. The Rangers at the moment appear to have run out of ideas. And the one man, yeah, the, I was going to say there, the one man who who, who would look to at the moment to supply something is Neil McCann, but Pasquale has done a superb marking job on him tonight. And no real surprise that Dick Advocate has taken him off. Well, Jonathan Johansson has had quite a good season for Rangers. Certainly earlier in the campaign, he's currently on nine goals for them. Nearly joined Derby County not so long ago after going down there for a trial. They were quite keen on him, apparently, but not sure if he was so keen on them in return. Another play by Perini. Inside the final quarter of an hour of this intriguing contest. Here's Dodds. He's through here. Dodds! Oh, and it flashed right across the six-yard box and just wide. Billy Dodds. It's a great turn here by Dodds. Fabulous turn, and that's a... It may be a shot, it may be just a, a ball put across the face of the goal. But whatever it was, it was a glorious chance for somebody to get on the end of it at the back post. Amoruso. Wallace. The split didn't really come off, although... And Bronkhorst did his best to rescue it. Ferguson and Peterson together. Free kick going against Barry Ferguson. Yeah, it's been a frustrating night for Barry Ferguson. And that's all that is, frustration. Yes, those key men in midfield. Ferguson and Van Bronckhorst have met their match tonight. Well, Eric Peterson ran Brian Lloyd out of Scotland and he's done a superb job on young Ferguson tonight. Create space for the cross. Back it goes to Moles. Just too high for Dodds. Johansson. 
his first touch. Towards Wallace and the Argentine Amato. He's away from Devos this time. And he's away from him again, but then his pass was poor. It was lovely to watch until he had to come and set somebody up. Charlie Miller on Dodd's hit. Yeah, and Charlie put his hands up after that. He knew he'd caught Billy Dodd. <laughs> <laughs> he just got a ticking off from uh, Mike McCurry. Pasquale, that by Van Bronckhorst. Now Johansson. Matty! He was a rather awkward that time for Cross. better on his right side and he doesn't really get much power in this no real trouble for Kloss Dodds Miller racing down that flank again but his cross was met by Amaruso Bibmar's clearance Wallace comes to meet it Lovely layoff here to Van Bronckhorst. Amato has peeled away and it'll be aimed towards him. Amato, Charlie Millen wants a pull back here. And Amato delayed. And then what he did send in wasn't really up to much. Duffy now steps out of the defence and finds Dodds. Only Matthew up with him, but possibilities here. I'm sure others will arrive. It's Matthew, they might not need others. Right by Amoruso though. Poor cross by Matthew, really. Yeah, yeah, Joe Miller wide right in support. And what he's done there is give the ball away. Barry Ferguson. Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. And now Tony Bidmar. Second half has been boiling up. I can't help thinking that the winner's going to come from somewhere. Charlie Miller to Jonathan Johansson. Johansson's cross, Wallace at the near post, blocked by Coombe. And the winner nearly came from Rangers. Wilson striding forward and blazing over. Well, Rod Wallace has helped something out of this game. Good ball whipped in. Nice header as well, and Coombe does enough with his feet. more Scottish action to come as we head into 1999 there will be no hangovers at Fir Park on New Year's Day he said that Philippe Motherwell against Kilmarnock Motherwell much improved Kilmarnock of course surprise championship challenges and then on Sunday it's the old firm clash from Ibrox Rangers against Celtic simply unmissable Edison to Dodds Foul given. Matthew was in fact. Marta. Gonna clear by Pasquale, giving Miller a chance to wreak havoc again. Now Matthew. Tony Moles, the Dutchman, finding Dodds. Licked away from him by Vidmar. After disappointing defeats on the road, Motherwell and Kilmarnock. It's been much improved from Dundee United. And no foul given there, as Miller went over Vidmar. Well, that surprises me. Joe Miller's got no reason to go down here and he's clearly caught here by Vidmar. To be fair to Mike McCurry, he's had a good game. A 
Pasquale's header. Harry Ferguson. Back to Wilson. This is nice from Rangers. It's Carini. Wallace ahead of him down that line. Back it goes to Perini. Away by DeVos. Surprise, surprise. Here's Dodds. Miller. Bit casual that time. Straight at Amoruso. Barry Ferguson. Charlie Miller. Wallace, offside against Zamata. Well, he reckons he's on, but the flag was up right away. Certainly a yard there. He's not actually scored a league goal yet for uh, Rangers, Gabriel Zamata. Three goals to his name, and they've come in cup competitions. Ferguson, and he's away here, oh. Wallace tried to block him, here is Amato, a few options available, and he found none of them, he's quite got his passing boots on tonight, Dodds, that was nice from uh, Amato though, Wallace tries to do too much at times there. Ferguson, Johansson, he's going to have better luck than McCann did against Squall, he's got his cross in, and compromisingly cleared by DeVos, not terribly effectively, Bidmark, he has to get out of the way, Amoruso, back to Cross, Third to Antti Niemi, the Rangers goal. The Rangers of course have three international goalkeepers on their books now with Niemi, Poss and Charbonnier, the Frenchman who's had injured for the season. Van Bronckhorst trying to get away but Moles ensures that he doesn't. Miller offside against Maddy, but they'll let Cross get on with it. And it's pretty even in this second half, and I wonder if there's going to be a winner coming our way. I certainly felt early in the match that Rangers could have changed up a gear, but they really haven't managed to, to move out of second gear tonight. Showing a bit more urgency now, but it's long overdue. Charlie Miller, Amato. There's a late trip on Miller. It was Easton who caught it. But it's a free kick in an ominous position as far as Dundee United are concerned. No Albert's of course, but Van Bronckhorst might fancy a dig. He took the last one anyway, even when Albert's was on the field. Just complaining again that the wall hasn't gone back as far as it should do. Dodds waiting to break from the wall and broke from the wall effectively. Charged it down from Van Bronckhorst. Much ado about nothing, but then it gives United the chance to push out as well. They have been camped across the only thing yard box for the last 10 minutes or so. Gives them a chance to get pushed up. Away by DeVos, who was being held by Amato. He really has had a good night, the Canadian international Jason DeVos. Signed earlier in the season from Darlington. I think he's just picked up a sponsor's man of the match award there. So he'll be, no doubt, heading off with a bottle of champers or something similar tonight. straight through to Kloss who hasn't been 
troubled that often this evening despite from the United efforts no it hasn't had a lot to do at all tonight certainly had no chance with the goal I think Paul Sturrock would have taken out a draw for you before this game, but he might just I think the side can sneak this now. Just a few minutes left. And he got a draw against Rangers in his first match in charge. He's goalless that time. His team with just one win at home in the Scottish Premier League this season. Rangers are going to break here though with Johansson. To pick out Wallace early, and it came off Duffy. Neil Duffy in his second spell with Dundee United. Played across the road at Dundee and also the Falkirk in between. Charlie Miller with the long throw duties now. Was kept in play. Russo. It's given away by the Rangers captain. Knowles, Dodds. Looking to take the throw off with Mark. And will be taken by Miller. probably Pascal. Here is Miller. Wasn't a bad ball across the goal, if he had a runner on the end of it. Mal passes header, it's going to drop out of play for a Rangers throw. Looks at the moment like Rangers might be heading into the New Year Old Firm crash. With an eight-point lead over Celtic. To get Kumana, of course, in second place. Here's Pasquale. Came off the back of Amoruso. Johansson. Oh, he's turned Divos brilliantly. Johansson. Still he goes. Amato's the man over. And he finds him. Amato. Back for Wallace. And Rangers. They will have nicked it here. Well, I suggested earlier that Rod Wallace was due a reward out of this game. It's all down to Johansson here. He takes the initiative, drives himself across the box, knocks it wide to Amato, and Wallace already has taken up position at the back post. A good first-time finish. And the end of a frustrating night for Rod Wallace. And that great play there by Jonathan Johansson. Wallace had peeled off to the back post, not picked up. And Rangers... I've sneaked it. Wallace claims his 17th of the season, joining Henrik Larsson on that tally. But he will be the first to thank the flying Finn, Jonathan Johansson, whose skill and endeavour set up that winner. Well, the only time someone's got past the boss tonight as well. We're in injury time, how about a man of the match? Well, it was skinned for the goal there by Jonathan Johansson, but I think Jason DeVos has had a, a smashing game in the heart of that United defence. And for me, he's the man of the match by some way. Well, he's out there trying to force home an equaliser for Dundee United, but Rangers really could seal it now, with Rod Wallace breaking away. He just want to hang on to it. It's all over, and it's better late than never for Dick Advocats Rangers, who move six points clear of second place Kilmarnock.
and ten points clear of Celtic. Jonathan Johansson and Gabriel Amato set up Rod Wallace for a late winner. And Billy Darts and Dundee United absolutely gutted because they really gave it their all tonight. And arguably didn't really deserve to be losers. But losers they are. And Rangers under Dick Africa take another step towards their target, which is of course the title. Still plenty of work to be done. But they are ending 1998 on a high. The year in which they failed to win the championship, of course. Scott Wilson put them ahead, although his header was deflected in off the vast. Not that he knew much about it. And that will have to go down as Wilson's first goal for Rangers. The equaliser from Billy Dodds, though, as Rangers rushed out, but didn't rush out quickly enough. There were chances for both teams in the second half. It was difficult to see which way it would go. But it went the way of Rangers. Johansson was superb in the build-up. And Marto's cross turned in by Rod Wallace. Rangers hoping to regain the title from Celtic this season. And tonight, well, they showed that they're made of champion stuff. Full-time, Dundee United 1, Rangers 2.